that a stain? I like this coat. <laughs> Wilder and what's Ethereum Wars? Oh, really? Let me see. Hmm, using the IPC's cutting edge ether copying technology, we can record any creature you've seen inside of an ether coin. Just print it out and compete against other players. Let your ether spirits fight for your glory. Oh, seems pretty neat, don't you think? <laughs> right? I knew you were a gamer. Want to check it out on the way? Awesome! I've heard that Stellaron Hunter Girl uses this kind of tech. Maybe we can see it in action. It's at the Rivet Town Plaza, right? Let's hit the road. There's no time like the present! That uniform! Was it him that texted you? I knew you'd come! Come on! Let's chat about Ethereum Wars! I've been playing it for 18 years, so ask me anything! I'll tell you everything I know! Yeah! Can you give us an overview? Why, it'd be my pleasure! I could talk to you about Ethereum Wars all day! Ethereum Wars! The name says it all! It's a collectible card game that uses ether copying tech, and ether coins are what you use to play. Using an ether coin, players can store creatures they've encountered in the form of an ether, and then manifest them as ether spirits to battle against other players. Collect, battle, train, and upgrade. That's Ethereum Wars' motto. I never expected the corporation to know anything about ether copying tech. I thought that was something only Punk Lordy and hackers could handle. Ha <laughs> you're right. The technology itself originated from Punk Lord, but with the relentless efforts of the IPC and the Intelligentsia Guild, we've also gained a basic understanding of how to edit ether. We might not be able to manipulate the data of reality as easily as those hackers can, but we're not far behind. I think it'd be better if the IPC avoided it. It sounds pretty dangerous. Uh, you mentioned something about the Interastral Tournament Festival? What is that? Oh, great question! The festival is actually a tournament organized by the Ethereum Wars Gaming Association at the end of each season, and is open to players from across the universe. Gamers will come together to relax, share tips and tricks, and have a blast playing the game. However, due to Stellaron's blocking interstellar routes, the festival was changed to online attendance at the last minute. Nevertheless, for those who insist on attending in person, our offline venue is still open to them. Sounds like the association really cares about their players. Uh, <laughs> well... That's... Uh, do we have to start an interrogation right now? I know the IPC aren't exactly our friends, but that's not just his fault. That's right! Any idea where we can give it a spin? <sighs> I can't believe it! I finally managed to successfully promote the game! Uh, is it that difficult? Oh, wait, does this game suck? No, 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 of course not. It's just, as someone who's been playing this game for so long, I guess it's hard for those who haven't played it to understand. 
I swear on my reputation that this game is truly the best form of entertainment out there. I'll take the rap if you don't like it. There's no time to waste. Since you're both interested, let me take you to the festival service hall to register your accounts. This way. Ah, oh, the atmosphere here is so different now. It's so lively. <laughs> so you guys have been here before? The corporation recently saw the potential in Urillo 6 and decided to renovate this old weapon testing ground. Take a look. This is where the Interastral Tournament Festival will be held this year. The Ethereum Wars Gaming Association specifically chose this planet to help rejuvenate it and bring it up to date with the latest trends. Everything is going according to plan. <laughs> is that... Mr. Giovanni, is that you? <clears throat> oh, <laughs> Wilder! I was just wondering where you'd got to. Oh, and you brought along two beautiful young ladies. Welcome to my arena. If I'm not mistaken, you're the Trailblazers, right? So, I presume you two have heard about the Interastral Tournament Festival. Have you come to show off your skills? <laughs> oh, psst! Look at his mask! Pretty cool, don't you think? <laughs> Just as I expected. You're exactly as they say in the rumors. <laughs> My name is Giovanni de Giorgio de Epsilon, a humble private trader from Epsilon and the sole sponsor of this year's Interastral Tournament Festival. <laughs> if there's anything I can do for you, don't hesitate to ask. Introducing yourself, Mr. Giovanni D. something something. <laughs> you seem like a pretty important person. What brings you to this kind of place? Oh, you truly live up to your reputation as the saviors of Bellabog. Such keen insight. Now, let me answer Ms. March's question. As you can see, the Interastral Tournament Festival is about to be held on this beautiful, icy planet. And as the sole sponsor of this event, it's only natural for me to come to the tournament venue and check on its operations. Furthermore, I'd also like to get to know the players of the tournament, including yourselves. One can never have too many friends when it comes to doing business in this, uh, vast universe of ours. If you'd be willing to call me friend, it would be a great honor to have you as such. Oh, weird mask, strange vibes, a little out of touch. But he seems friendly enough, right? Oh, is that all you care about? <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> You're even funnier than I imagined. I'll take that as an acceptance of our friendship. A pleasure to meet you, Mr. Giovanni. I believe Wilder has already filled you in on the Ethereum Wars, but if you have any questions about the Interastral Tournament Festival, I'll be more than happy to answer them for you. Mr. Giovanni, let me take care of it. It's my job, after all. Don't worry, Wilder. It's only natural that I introduce the festival to my new friends here. You can go ahead and attend to other matters while I show these two around. Thank you, Mr. Giovanni. I'll be off then. Feel free to ask me about the Interastral Tournament Festival in the venue. Is there anything in particular you'd like to know? 
Bellabog's weapon testing ground. At least it was 700 years ago. While renovating this place, we stumbled upon quite a few automaton production lines, all covered in thick layers of dust. <laughs> Several hundred years ago, the people of Bellabog tested the performance of their combat automatons here. But now, under my sponsorship, the IPC and the Ethereum Wars Gaming Association have transformed this place into the competition venue for the tournament. In other words, this place is now my arena. That's all I can share about that at the moment. Is there anything else you'd like to know? Indeed. Have you seen the big circular platform down below? When the championship commences, this space will serve as the arena for Ethereum Wars players to showcase their skills and where they'll vie for supremacy. During the festival, you'll have the chance to mingle with players from all over the universe, share experiences, level up your ether spirits, and challenge each other. Ah, yes, my... Apologies, I should have mentioned this earlier, but uh, because of the well-known Stellaron problem, many players won't be able to attend in person. So it's likely you'll mostly encounter familiar faces during the event. <laughs> it's simple. First, you need to register your account at a terminal in this festival service hall. Oh, you haven't created one, correct? After you've successfully created and registered your account, I'll delve into all the details of the festival. But for now, you'll have to deal with the suspense for just a little bit longer. <laughs> you've certainly got quite the active imagination. Rest assured, I'm just passionate about gaming. I love observing how players compete and cooperate with each other. <laughs> I have no hidden agendas, I can assure you of that. I swear on my reputation and my mask. Actually, I have a question. You've been explaining a lot about the venue, but I'm still confused about the game. Can we actually give it a go? Why, of course, not a problem. I'll make an exception just for you. You can borrow my ether spirits and experience the thrill of battle. Hmm? What's all the commotion? Hey, twerp! Hand over that coin! Oh, you little brat! Who said you could touch this? Say, my IPC friends, I can see how captivated you are by that coin. Am I right in assuming that you're also Ethereum Wars players? <laughs> Where did that masked dude come from? And what does it have to do with you, whether I'm a player or not? Exactly! What's it to you, sneaking around with a mask on? You must be some kind of creep! <laughs> what I'm getting at is this. Since you're both players, why not have a showdown to settle the matter? Following the proper rules of the game, of course. But instead of this young boy, I propose that these two young ladies be the challengers. If they lose, the coin will naturally become yours, and you can do as you wish with it. But if you lose, I would kindly ask that you gracefully accept defeat and refrain from causing any more trouble in my arena. Are we all in agreement? Hmm. 
Ahem. <clears throat> I wouldn't advise it. Violence wouldn't make for a very interesting outcome, now would it? Let's all agree to keep things peaceful and enjoyable. Well, Mr. Giovanni's right. Now's our chance to check out this game and see if it lives up to the hype. Here are a few beginner-level Aether Spirits for you. They'll help you get the hang of the game's pace and rules. If you have trouble handling these beginner spirits, it might indicate that this game isn't the best choice for you. <laughs> You've got some nerve. You're in for a rude awakening. Prepare to face the might of Topaz's support squad! Who's boss? Are you okay, Eric? Thanks, Miss March. <laughs> I I'm fine. I was wondering the same thing. Why would they pick on someone half their size? I, I don't know. I just found this coin on the floor. Based on the appearance of the coin alone, it's difficult to discern any significance. As for who it belongs to, that's also a mystery. Didn't they mention something else? Topaz? Yeah, they mentioned Miss Topaz. What's that all about? Oh, I know. Uh, they said they were members of Miss Topaz's support squad. They said they'd gather the strongest ether spirits from across the universe and give them to her, so she could win the tournament. Uh-huh. Would Miss Topaz stoop so low? I can't believe she'd be that desperate. I think there must be some kind of misunderstanding. I have had some interactions with Miss Topaz, and this doesn't seem like her way of dealing with people. I suppose that means this coin doesn't belong to Miss Topaz after all. I wonder whose it could be. It doesn't seem to have any info on it. Indeed. There is no information on the Aether coin that could help us trace it back to its owner. It seems returning it to its rightful owner will be quite the challenge. I... Uh... I think it'd be better if you kept it. Hey, have you forgotten your manners? I have no clue what this is or how to play that Ethereum Wars thingy. I bet you guys can find a better use for this coin than me. 
I see. Well, when you put it that way... Looks like we'll hold on to it for now. What do you think, Mr. Giovanni? <laughs> I have no objections. After all, trading and training are all part of Ethereum Wars. I say, why not put the coin to good use? It's settled then. I need to go home now. My dad's still waiting for me. Ah, he just wandered off. Maybe we ought to take him home? What if he bumps into more IPC goons? Oh, no need to worry. The majority of the IPC's employees are quite professional. Wouldn't dream of tarnishing their company's reputation. Now, I suggest that both of you summon the coin's ether spirit. After all, it's the first one that you've truly acquired for yourselves. It'd be nice for you to get to know each other, don't you think? Oh, you're right! Uh, let me see. How does this coin work again? Uh, ah, there we go! It's, a uh, Warp Trotter? A Warp Trotter? This is quite a rare Aether Spirit, but they're not very powerful. Why would those IPC folks be after it? Huh? Looks like the little guy's scared. Uh, what do we do? What do we do? D did we do something wrong? Don't worry, Ms. March. It's likely the Warp Trotter is just naturally timid. I must say, though, this one is a bit peculiar. Ether spirits are usually just digital representations of creatures. They shouldn't possess any specific traits. According to their programming, ether spirits are supposed to obediently follow a player's commands and faithfully execute their instructions. Which doesn't seem to be the case right now. <laughs> huh? So what now? Uh, uh, maybe you could try giving them a command? Uh, I'm not good at this kind of thing. I think it's best if you do it. Hmm, I see. They're likely acting this way due to some sort of data anomaly or discrepancy. It would be best to report this issue to the Ethereum Wars project team, so they can address it accordingly. Uh, but wouldn't that mean getting rid of them? Uh, no way! We can't hand them over to the IPC. Let's just keep them, okay? Uh, no way! I won't let you! <sighs> Alrighty then. Let's take this little fella with us to the festival. Now I think it's time we came up with a catchy name for them. Um... Got any good ideas? I'll lend you an extra brain cell. No problem. Take your time. No problem. Take your time. No problem. Take your time. Really? Sounds a little... Uh, it's up to you. Do you want to try something different?
Well, isn't this a delightful turn of events? And now let me show you how to navigate the Ethereum Wars player terminal. <laughs> right this way, please. This is the Ethereum Wars player terminal. Give it a try. Uh, it seems, have you got the hang of it yet? Uh, back to copying me, huh? <laughs> I wouldn't worry yourselves too much. Remember, practice makes perfect. I imagine you'll grasp the core concept in no time. To participate in the tournament championship, make your way to the various victory zones and increase your victory rating. Complete the trials in each victory zone to earn all of the mastery marks. Please excuse me if you may. I have a few other facilities to inspect to ensure the festival runs smoothly. <laughs> if you have any problems, the staff at the service hall will be more than happy to assist you. I wish you all a memorable festival. Farewell for now, dear friends. Okay, looks like we've learned all the essentials. Let the fun begin! Let's head towards the first victory zone! Corridor of Fading Echoes! Corridor of Fading Echoes Victory Zone. I just looked up some tips on the Interastral Network. These Victory Zones are leased by the IPC and the Gaming Association from various planets. The IPC's reach is impressive. Ready to head out? <laughs> I can't wait to find out what's inside these Victory Zones. Hey, look! It's Mr. Giovanni! Mr. Giovanni! I didn't expect to see you again so soon! <laughs> <laughs> you two move fast! Welcome to the Corridor of Fading Echoes Victory Zone! <laughs> Believe it or not, I'm actually somewhat of a seasoned Ethereum Wars player myself. Am I correct in saying that this is your first time entering a victory zone? In case you <laughs> want to hear the rules again, players can enhance their victory rating by engaging in various activities within the victory zone, such as collecting roaming data and participating in sparring matches with other players. Collecting roaming data is a vital aspect because it's the only way for players to encounter new ether spirits, aside from purchasing or trading them. Since you're both here, let me give you a lesson on gathering roaming data. Oh, really? We know you're pretty busy. Oh, it'd be my pleasure. Assisting new players in swiftly understanding the gameplay is just another part of the festival. I will gift you this ether data, Blaze Out of Space. With this, collecting roaming data should be much easier for the both of you. There happens to be a good number of roaming data targets in the vicinity. How about using them as practice?
I see you're both living up to your renowned trailblazer reputations. It would seem you two have a natural talent for gaming. <laughs> That's us, all right. Yikes, sweet talk alert. But it's true. Thank you, Mr. Giovanni. Let me see, what next? Ah, that's it, now I remember. I prepared a few ether expansion chips for you both. <laughs> you can use your ether coin to read the data on these chips. They allow your ether spirits to equip various abilities. Why not give them a go, right now? Everyone's here! You and Little March, too! What lucky charm lured these two great heroes our way? Serval, Pela! Has it really been that long? It's great to see you, too! 
Behold, two championship contenders! It would seem the stage is set for some intense competition! Huh? S Sir Val's the championship contender for this victory zone? <laughs> I guess it's time we got our act together. It's been a while, outsider. You won't get away with it this time. Huh. So is this game already popular in Bellabog? Yeah, but I guess no one in Bellabog had much of a clue about video games before the IPC showed up. I gotta say, Ethereum Wars is really fun. I've been grinding for several days straight. Barely even had time to eat. I wish you'd put the same effort into other things. So, Miss Serval, Miss Pela, how are you feeling? Have you gotten accustomed to the title of Championship Contender yet? Totally used to it. Pela and I have already struck fear into the hearts of more than a few newbies. Should we really be bragging about something like this? <laughs> it's good that you've gotten used to it. Entrusting the Victory Zone to the two of you was the right decision. Since you're all here, how about we let Miss Serval and Miss Pela, our championship contenders, explain the rules to everyone? No problem. The rules are actually quite simple. To start with, I've made some minor tweaks to the snowshine lamps, making it possible for heat to be transferred between them. Just pop a thermic core into a lamp, and all the nearby lamps will light up simultaneously. Cool, right? The puzzle for you to solve is to use the limited number of thermic cores at your disposal to illuminate all of the designated snowshine lamps scattered around the victory zone. Experience is always the best teacher. So go ahead and try for yourselves with these two lamps. Huh? S Sir Val's the championship contender for this victory zone? <laughs> I guess it's time we got our act together. It's been a while, outsider. You won't get away with it this time. Huh. So is this game already popular in Bellabog? Yeah, but I guess no one in Bellabog had much of a clue about video games before the IPC showed up. I gotta say, Ethereum Wars is really fun. I've been grinding for several days straight. Barely even had time to eat. I wish you'd put the same effort into other things. So, Miss Serval, Miss Pela, how are you feeling? Have you gotten accustomed to the title of Championship Contender yet? Totally used to it. Pela and I have already struck fear into the hearts of more than a few newbies. Should we really be bragging about something like this? <laughs> it's good that you've gotten used to it. Entrusting the Victory Zone to the two of you was the right decision. Since you're all here, how about we let Miss Serval and Miss Pela, our championship contenders, explain the rules to everyone? No problem. The rules are actually quite simple. To start with, I've made some minor tweaks to the snowshine lamps, making it possible for heat to be transferred between them. Just pop a thermic core into a lamp, and all the nearby lamps will light up simultaneously. Cool, right? The puzzle for you to solve is to use the limited number of thermic cores at your disposal to illuminate all of the designated snowshine lamps scattered around the victory zone. Experience is always the best teacher. So go ahead and try for yourselves with these two lamps.
You see? Sir Ball's modifications to the lamps allow you to illuminate lamps that are out of your reach. You'll find several lamps like this around the Victory Zone. Once you've illuminated all of them, seek out me and Sir Ball. We'll be ready to throw down the gauntlet. But don't think we'll just hand over the mastery mark without a fight. You'd better make sure you're ready before you even think about challenging us. Hmm. After seeing this special modification, I can't help but wonder, do all Victory Zones have a similar kind of setup? Of course! After all, it's just another part of the tournament. Each Victory Zone has its own unique puzzles. But don't worry yourselves too much. The most important thing is that you have fun. <laughs> <laughs> I can feel the adrenaline rushing through my veins. That mastery mark is mine. B brace yourself, Serval. I'm about to rock your world. Ah, uh, yikes! Everyone's so fired up! Uh, uh, quick! Let's say something! Did you join the Antimatter Legion when I wasn't looking? <laughs> <laughs> the enthusiasm is cute, but don't think just because you're still figuring out the game that Pela and I will take it easy on you. There are three thermic cores. You'll need them to solve the puzzles in the victory zone. Let's see what you've got. That's exactly the festive atmosphere I'm looking for. <laughs> Investing in this event was most certainly the right decision. Please excuse me. I must inspect the next victory zone. Best of luck to you both. Thank you, Mr. Giovanni. Let's get moving. Time to show Pela and Serval what we're made of. properties.
victory zone challengers, I presume? Looks like you haven't bothered to light up all the lamps in this area yet. I can't just let you off the hook. It seems we won't be able to proceed until all the nearby lamps are illuminated. Trailblazers! I didn't expect you two to be the first ones to show up. Oh, not bad. Uh, we're here 
to challenge them, not rob them. But that is what we're here for. That mastery mark is ours. <laughs> well, well, someone's feeling pretty confident. Well then, it's time you felt the power of mechanical fever. Pela, let's show them what we're made of. The essence of turn-based games lies in the numbers. So you better get ready to witness the precision of my calculations. <laughs> Things are heating up! Expecting that. Time to channel some rock star energy. was intense. I can't remember the last time I had so much fun. How did you manage that? I guess you just got lucky this time. Yeah, it was all me. Here, take it. The Corridor of Fading Echo's Mastery Mark. You've earned it. I have something else for you also. An Aether Expansion Chip. Integrating its data into an Aether Spirit will grant them new, innate abilities. <laughs> Look how happy they are. It's clear they trust you a lot. A Warp Trotter? That's a pretty rare Aether Spirit. But they were acting kind of strange in the battle. Is there something wrong with them? <laughs> uh, to be honest, we don't actually know. But it seemed like some IPC troublemakers were out to get them. That's why they're tagging along with us. We're looking after them. Serval, you seem to know more about Aether Spirits than us. Can you tell us what's up with this little guy? Sorry, I'm not quite sure either. IPC tech is pretty complex. There are some principles I'm still trying to wrap my head around. I see. Perhaps if we were able to find Miss Topaz, She'd be able to give us some clues. <laughs> they're just too precious. And they're counting on you for protection. Take them with you and snatch the championship. <laughs> Thanks, Pela. We'll do our best. Uh, speaking of champions, have you heard the story of the mysterious 
elite player? Oh, please. It's pretty clear they're not talking about you. <clears throat> well, this player isn't a stranger. We know them too, but Mr. Giovanni has asked us not to divulge too much information. Giovanni? I wonder what he's up to. We're not entirely sure. He said something about adding an element of mystery to the story. Okay, that's weird. In any case, if your goal is to also become the champions, then it's likely you'll run into them sooner or later. Remember, train hard and relish every moment. The title awaits you. <laughs> oh, now that battle was really intense. Those puzzles were such a blast too. I think I'm hooked. Great minds really do think alike. Turns. You rest. I'll stand guard. Ah, Goethe Hotel. Home sweet home. <laughs> hey, 
Hey, what is it? <laughs> hey, it's those two twerps again. It's the two who ruined our plans! Hand over the trotter, now! Ah, uh, you two again? We're minding our own business. You're the ones going around stealing people's ether spirits. Uh, they're like family now. Why would we just hand them over to someone like you? Uh, if you think you've got what it takes, then bring it on. You rat! Dare underestimate us! Oh, you won't get away with it twice! I'll teach you two twerps a lesson you'll never forget! Let's just get some rest and forget about them. <laughs> 